Claire, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thank you for taking my call. I'm definitely needing some help right now. I love it. I'm ready to help. What are we helping with? Okay, so I'll try to sum this up. Um, I went to school for accounting. I've worked in accounting for eight years. I've been in some environments that that weren't a great fit. And now for the last four years, I found a great job. I feel valued, respected, heard. I enjoy the work, the environment. I, they're just super understanding. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that job? What's that job? It, it's accounting. Uh, it's a, it's accounting for a small business. Oh, so it's, it's a working. different it's a different accounting job. Yes. Okay, keep going. I got it. Yeah. So, like I said, I've been there for four years, and uh, but the thing is, I'm also a professional MMA fighter. What? And hold on, yeah. don't even try to go faster anymore. Professional yeah. MMA fighter. Yes. <laughs> Why? Oh no! Why'd you say it like that? You're like yes. I think that's stinking awesome. I'm just struggling right now. <laughs> Why are you struggling? You getting hit in the head too much? Uh, no, no. Luckily, it's nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, re- so I thought that. So I'm, I'm always really busy because I'm either at practice or I'm at work. And I was like, okay, because I'm busy, I'm just going to be successful in both of these things. It's going to be great. Okay. And then um, I got this opportunity recently where I had um, like a six week thing where I got to go on this tournament style reality show for fighting i can't talk about it a lot because it hasn't aired yet but basically it was a big wake-up call for me that i realized that i'm I'm not all in for fighting no and i see that i have that i I know i i know i have a lot of potential and i can really i feel like i can really do something with it if i go all in so i'm having a hard time um, (laughs) you're having a hard time deciding to leave the accounting job job. yeah how how are you making enough money if you went all in as a pro MMA fighter, that you could pay the bills. I am yes, yes. I make enough to pay the bills, and there's a good chance that here in the next six months it would um, like grow dramatically if I'm really in it. Okay, I'm going to ask some questions that I think are okay. safe for you to answer. All right. Okay. And if it's not, tell me, and I'll, it's, I'll be like the lawyer where the judge calls them down and I'll reword it. Okay. I'm good. Am I to understand that this reality show, based on MMA fighters, you learned not only you are not going all in, you're not putting enough time in because of the accounting job. That was one thing. But I think I, mm-hmm. I'm hearing between the lines that you also learn that you can that you can actually get a big time fight and win, and you got a real shot at doing very well if you go all in. Is that what I'm also hearing? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm very confident about that. Very confident. I love it. I mean, she <laughs> just put it on some poor gal is what she's not saying. You just, I mean, whacked somebody. I love, by the way, full disclosure to the audience, I'm a huge <laughs> MMA fan. Um, oh, I love it. I, I do. Didn't know that. Yeah, I do about five to six pay per views a year. So maybe that's not a huge fan. Maybe the huge that's fan awesome. gets one every month. But I'm just busy. But I love MMA. In fact, I go so far back that I saw the very first five UFCs when when the Gracie oh, guy wow. in the freaking karate yeah. outfit wasn't. He was choking everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. I go way back, like Severn and Shamrock and Gracie. Very cool. All right, so folks, I'm trying to get some street cred right here with Claire. All right, now. You are. You I are. know. You're doing well. I know. I really love MMA. Okay, so <laughs> you you have a chance at a title fight or a big-time pain purse is what I'm hearing also. Yes, that's uh, that would be, um, yeah, that, that's the plan. <laughs> okay, so here's my point. The reason I'm spending the, the, the focus on that is, is because you've already told me that financially, through budgeting, cutting your costs, that you can survive on the MMA salary right now, accounting will always be there. Quite frankly, the skills you've developed as an accountant, the experience that you've acquired, Mm -hmm. will transfer to other jobs that aren't accounting. All of those jobs will be there. But here's what you and I both know, and I'm such a big sports fan, I know I'm right about this. There is mm-hmm. a window of time for you to be your best as a fighter. There's a window. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. No, there definitely is. There definitely is. All right. So we go now. We go yeah, now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, I'd resign immediately. 
So, uh, and then what is that? Like, um, yeah, I think I have to. What kind of, like, notice should I give a Two job weeks. like this? Like, I, I'm the whole accounting department. Like, I'm the whole thing. Two, okay. Okay, that, okay. Let me answer that two ways. First thing is, if he can't survive with, without you, he probably wouldn't survive with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a general thought. In this case, he can go get another accountant pretty quick that could keep the yeah. books running. But if yeah. you want to give him a month, I would say mm-hmm. no more than a month. Because in a month's okay. time between you transitioning for the next person, meaning I want you to build a bridge for the person he will hire to replace you with, here's how we right. do it. Here's the index card. Here's here's all the yep. files. You make it to where like an idiot like me could walk in and do the work. <laughs> I, I do feel like I've really set them up for that. So that part does feel good. I don't feel like I'm leaving them like then in the you weeds choose. or anything. Then you choose. Two weeks, Okay. 30 days. I, I would say 30 days is enough time for him to uh, come up with a patch. Okay, I needed to hear that because I was going to do like three months. <laughs> no, because here's the deal. Your soul has already left the building. I know. I know. It's it not bad. Don't say it like, I know, like you're not a bad person. I feel guilty. No, you've not broken the law, true or false. Okay, true, true. Well, then there's nothing to be guilty of. Guilt right, right. is a guilt is a legal term that says this person broke the law, they are guilty. You've not broken the law. Right. You broke someone's jaw. Hey, hey. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's Everybody great. be good to your waiters and waitresses. I'll be here all week. Um <laughs> That just hit me. I know, I know, I know. People at home are going, how is Ken that quick? Uh, boy, the fighting analogies are leaping out of me right now. I'm trying to hold them back, Alex. Um, Keep them coming. Yeah, listen, I'm really proud of you. You got to go for this. You got to go yeah. for this. Because here's the deal. MMA is a short, short-term deal. As mm-hmm. much as I love you and I'm cheering for you, the fact that it mm-hmm. is you're one punch away from being back in accounting. Yeah. That's yeah. the truth. Well, you're definitely... That's absolutely yep. the truth. Mike Tyson was yep. never the same. Yep. When Buster Douglas knocked him on his keister, he never was the same <laughs> fighter again. Yep. True. And so you have to yeah. go for this. Right. One of my favorite all-time phrases from one of my favorite movies, Dead Poet Society, is where Professor Keating, played by Robin Williams, leans forward into those young men and says, Carpe diem. <laughs> Carpe diem seize the day yes. you are ready to be a mma champion i want you to go for yeah. it and if you don't mind um can i get your information from amanda i'm gonna put you on hold i want you i want to um i want to connect with you personally so i could cheer for you and uh, encourage be, uh, you I, I want to be your uh your cheerleader and coach if you'll allow me as you take oh, these absolutely. steps okay great awesome i would love that i gotta tell you claire when you win the championship I want you to come to Nashville and sit in the studio and we're going to tell your story. It's going to be great. Oh, I so will. I absolutely right. will. I Fantastic. Love that. All right. Go knock the crap out of some women, would you please? Oh. <laughs> Can't say that to anybody else in the entire world, but Claire, 